There you are, at last. So, have you made your decision? I will fight with you at Carolthas. Your army may be our only chance of victory. Idiot. Thou hast sentenced thyself to death. And now? And now, we will go with the others. To Carolthas, to swell our ranks, combine our forces, and face the Deadwalker army on equal terms. Equal terms? Because thou hast slain a vassal far from his master, do not presume too much upon his body. We draw close to the domain of one of these necromancers. Faced with his power, a thousand soldiers more or less would make no difference. We draw close to the domain of one of these necromancers. Faced with his power, a thousand soldiers more or less would make no difference. The power to slay this vermin lies within us. But it cannot be used from such a weak vessel, nor can it even be protected from those who covet it. I am more and more powerful. Yet still not powerful enough. And the city is of no interest. The necromancer will lay waste to it with a wave of his hand. While he tarries, we must make haste to reach his palace. You said that I lack the power. I will not throw myself into the wolf's jaws. When thou returnest to the world heart, none will stand before us. Thou wouldst already possess the power to destroy this sorcerer and his like, if thou hast but allowed the evolution of this useless body. Look upon thyself, thou art duped! Falcon, have you seen something? They use thee. You coming, Vulcan? Your captain will be wondering where we are. Huh? Uh, yeah, of course. Let's go. There you are, sire. Right. Change of plan. Seeing how cold it is, it will come as no surprise to you to learn that the dead walkers have already been here. They are still close. We must rejoin my father's army as swiftly as we may. I think we already found them. Take a look around us. There are survivors. Apparently they are camped not far from here. This soldier will lead us to them. Prince Arundel, my lord, can it be you? Soldier, what happened here? Is the king with you? The dead walkers took us by surprise. The cold and the ice. We stood no chance. Almost all of the city has been invaded by the ice. My father! Where is the king? I... I know not, your highness. But a few of us were able to escape. Lord Commander Valen has built a camp close by the city. Valen is here! Take us to his camp. By your leave. Follow me, my lord. My prince, we had lost all hope of seeing you return safe. We have no word from Bastion. Bastion is lost, Valen. We came into this war too late. 
The General of the Alliance gave his life that I should escape with Relmar. The Deserter. What business did he have at Bastion? The Deserter was fighting, while you and your wondrous army waited warm and safe, sat upon their asses. I hope the result is pleasing to you, Valen. Silence, both of you. Relmar saved my life, Valen. For now you will consider him pardoned. By your will, my lord. And I see that you are escorted by the Freeborn Blades. In truth, they are escorting the Red Scribes. But their presence is our good fortune. They have already once put the dead walkers to rout in the marshes. This woman slew one of their generals before my very eyes. I will tell you more of this later. Now I must speak with my father. Where is he? <sighs> no one knows, my prince. The king was still in the royal palace when the river Estelduin fell upon the city. The river? What happened? Twas like a great wave that froze all that it touched. We had seen the approach of the Deadwalker's vanguard four days before, and we had raised Keraltos' defenses in preparation. Not even the sight of ten juggernauts would have feared us, but we never dreamt that an Ice Lord would come to lead the assault himself. He walked calmly to within an arrow's flight of the gates, never once speaking. And then, the river rose up from its bed to form a gigantic cloud that hung up over Keraldas. We understood our peril too late. Near all of our soldiers stood atop the ramparts or in the streets when the ice cloud fell. All were frozen where they stood. That was his signal to launch their assault, but we were already vanquished. We fought to cover our retreat. We must find the king! I know, my prince, but every entry to the city is guarded, and we cannot risk being discovered. It is clear we will not travel 200 paces if we do not first slay the sentinels close to the encampment. Only then will we be able to attempt to enter the city and save your father. I'll go find your king for you. Vulcan, did you hear me ask for volunteers? Our mission is over. The Red Scribes have screwed up from start to end. But they're in the hands of the Elven army now. Cap, since we're here, we may as well make ourselves useful, huh? And we've got to get inside those walls if we want to know what happened to Wolf and the other blades we left here. Ah, Vulcan. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. That is why I shall go with her. I grew up in this city. We shall help one another. My prince, you know well it is my duty to object to you taking such a risk. And you also know that your objections will change nothing. No man here knows the palace better than I. If my father is within, I will find him. By your word, sire. But I fear most what other things you may find. I can but put my trust in your newfound champion to watch over your highness. Don't forget. You'll have to deal with those sentinels before you try anything else, Vulcan. Meanwhile, the lads will set up camp near the south gate. Understood, Captain. Damn, it's freezing in here. Aren't you cold? I've spent many winters in libraries with no heating. After that, you hardly notice the cold. Which reminds me, do you know if the library in the city is still intact? No idea. Not a... I have other... What I will try... Just in time, Vulcan. What happened to you? To me? No. Worth... No. 
Uh... I'll explain. These stone, with all of the... You're no doubt... All right, I'll take care of it. But don't expect to see me dancing around with a wheelbarrow full of rocks. That would in even if... Oh. I'll leave you here. It slipped my mind with what just happened, but here's that object you were looking for in the temple. Your magic stone. Incredible. I didn't dare think it still existed. Thank you so much. And here, a promise is a promise. A good day to you, Murph. You got a moment? I wanted to ask you a few things. Let's change the subject. See you later. Greetings, mercenary. What can I do for... Can I have a look at your stock? Greetings, mercenary. Can I have a look at your stock? Good day. Show me what you have to sell. Alas.
I bet. Yeah, well. Let's see what you made this time. 